So about two years ago, I made a video on something new I had found, which was playing PC VR games using a phone, one of those cheap phone headsets, and the Xbox controller. I helped over 30,000 people so far set up a cheap VR system using around the house items. That video was alright in my opinion and could have been better mostly because I was just as new to it as you guys were so I didn't know much about it myself but I knew enough to somewhat show people how to set it up. Since then I have learned some pretty significant things about how to use a connect way better with this, what's the cheapest but best setup for this and how you could upgrade this to make it actually usable. Now I could just be very vague and tell you what to do and not show you how to do it but I'm not a bad YouTuber. I promise. So today I will walk you guys through a fast tutorial on how to set this up for beginners, show you guys what I've learned since the first video, and hopefully I can help you guys make your setups just as good as mine. Now I'm going to try to make this first segment as fast as possible for those who have seen the previous video and if you haven't, you could try watching the first video which will be down in the description. Now first, to go on your phone, go on its app store and download either Riftcat, IVRY or Irian VR which can all be found in the description. IVRY is $10, Riftcat is $15 and Irian VR is free but with low quality. I would suggest you use IVRY, it's in my opinion the best one out of all of them. Once you do that, just download Steam VR and the IVRY driver on the Steam store. And if you are using Riftcat or Irian VR, just search their names on Google and they will have websites that can walk you through their installation. Now if you would prefer a realistic VR experience with moving controllers, you will need to connect in two gamepads whether it's switch controllers or console controllers. Now if you just want to play VR without the moving controllers, you just need the headset and the Xbox or PlayStation controller. I will go more in depth later. Now for the people using a Kinect, next you need to download an application named Driver for VR. It does cost $15 to $20 on Steam Store if you're looking to pay, and there are other ways but I cannot discuss those methods sadly. Now back to the people who want a simple setup using just a headset and a console controller. All you need are games that have full controller support, just go to Steam, click the store search area and just click enter, then go down the filters until you find VR supported and full controller support. Enable both and the games that show up are the ones that can be played with just a controller and yeah that's it for the tutorial. Now there are some useful tips later in this video so don't click off just yet. Next tip is for the positioning of the Kinect if you're using one. What I found is that farther is better, meaning that if you have the space in your room, try to set up the connect pretty far but not too far. The connect needs to have enough room for you to reach and for it to be able to see the floor and the ceiling at the same time. Make sure that the camera is directly in front of you and that the camera can see you reach side to side and up and down. Now one of the biggest issues I had with my setup was the connect. I wanted positional controller tracking so bad and never knew why it was so janky and unusable. I later or more like 3 days ago found that my biggest mistake was not using head tracking and hand tracking together. Without head tracking the controllers wouldn't know where to be relative to the player's head which calls for the controllers to be behind the player all the way across the map or above the player's head. With head tracking, Driver for VR and Steam VR knows where the controller needs to be relative to the player's headset, which allows for it to be just like the real thing. Next tip is to use two wired or wireless Xbox or PlayStation controllers, or just use Switch controllers. Most people will have those just laying around gathering a layer of dust or it would be fine with borrowing those controllers just for this. Now with the two Xbox or PlayStation controllers, you just need to map the controllers in the tracker manager which is fairly easy so I won't be going over that in this video. The best method I've seen to do this is to only use half of each controller. The right controller will only use the right joystick and right triggers and bumpers while the left will do the same thing but with the left buttons. You can customize it to your liking. Now if you happen to have Nintendo Switch controllers because you will have the ability to use the gyroscope of the Switch controllers to simulate rotation in Steam VR. Now last but not least I want to talk about IVRY quality and Steam VR error fixes. 
one of the best things to do is to set up wired connection between your phone and your PC, which will give you smooth performance for your headsets. Now, a problem I ran into is that my PC wouldn't find my phone. And what you need to do is plug in your phone, turn on USB tethering and change the ethernet or phone's connection from public to private in the settings. This completely fixed my issues. Another issue was quality for me, but it was easy to fix. Just follow the settings on screen. Now this video was on the short side, but I was able to spread the information that I learned while working on this. If you guys want a in-depth video on Java for VR or a breakdown of the best settings for quality, drop a like on this video and comment what helped you guys. But yeah, other than that, if you guys want a part two of this video of me just basically going more in depth, maybe the same length, but talking more on other things regarding this whole setup, just let me know down in the comments. And if you guys have any problems, of course, still let me know down in the comments. I will definitely help you guys if you guys have any problems. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe, like, and turn on notifications. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.